what's up? Welcome back to Talk and Talk. Today we're gonna be reviewing BMF. Okay, I've been watching this show and I'm like, well, why don't I review this on my channel? So let's talk about the last episode that came out yesterday. It was so freaking good. This show is bomb. If you're not watching BMF, you need to be watching BMF on stars. So we all know that um, T had got shot and he was in the hospital or whatever and he got out and um, his eye got messed up really bad due to the surgery. So um, the family has been trying to, you know, sue the hospital or the doctors or whatever and get some cash because they really messed up his, um, they really messed up T's vision. So they got a lawyer through the pastor and the father not really feeling the pastor. The father is something else. Y'all like the dad, the dad be pissing me off with his ego and like, he just, his attitude just be on 10 all the time today. So, um, I believe the lawyer is the pastor's daughter or a relative, something like that. So, she's working with them on T's case, right? Boom. So, the episode um, starts out with them basically with the lawyer and they're talking with, I guess, the, the lawyer that's representing the hospital. They're talking with them and they're asking T certain questions. But I think it's so interesting how they pull out a photo of T in his fancy jacket, his chain, his nice car. And they're like, oh, well, how do we know that him getting shot had nothing to do with him being um, a drug dealer or whatever? And it's just like, huh? What do that got to do with him getting shot? And the doctor screwing up to the point where they messed up his vision. And then they tried to say, oh, well, um, we had it on record that you left your, um, your hospital room and then you ended up falling. And what was that about? And he's like, oh, I was going after my brother. What does his activities outside of the hospital have to do with him getting proper treatment and proper care while he's in your custody? That has nothing to do with it. You know, so, but you know, if they go to trial, that, that jury is going to instantly turn on him and be like, oh, but that has nothing to do with, um, how the surgery outcome should be. Like, excuse me, I didn't know your occupation had anything to do with how good or bad a doctor should do on your surgery, your operation. Girl, bye. So, um, I was just like, wow, they really pulling that one. So then they end up going home and. He ends up lying to his mom about selling drugs because now we now we got the parents got the whole picture, okay? The parents got the picture of T and his gold chains and his fancy clothes and his car or whatever with his brother. So mom got the picture right in front of her, but you know how sometimes you can have something right in front of you and you just don't want to believe it anyway, you know? Because like T, I guess, is the golden child. That's his mama's baby. He's like, I guess he seems really book smart and does well in school. So the mom don't want to think that T is on some other stuff <laughs> with Peach. So um, he lied to his mom and said, no, he's not selling, um, selling anything with his brother or whatever. And she believes him because she's like, look me in my eyes and he lied and she believes him. So the dad doesn't believe him for nothing. He's like, you saw the pictures, it's there. Like he's doing it, you know? So the dad, the dad is funny. So then the lawyer's like, yo, the hospital is willing to do 25K. Uh, y'all got three days to decide or we gotta go to trial and y'all can wind up with nothing if they really spend this whole drug dealer kind of thing to the jury because now the jury will have to decide on what to do. So we leave it at that. Now, y'all know the last episode, Lamar took their sash, right? So, which was a crazy, crazy episode, and Kato was such a traitor. Dang, Kato. So, um, he took their stash the last time, the last episode before this one that came out. So now they trying to get their stash back. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Meech ends up picking up um Lamar's daughter. I forgot the mom's name. Forgive me. So, Mish ends up picking up Lamar's daughter from school. Now, Lamar's, um, Lamar's girl, the baby mama, or whatever, who's really Cash Doll in real life. Um, so, Cash Doll, I'm going to just say Cash Doll because I forgot her, her name in the show. Comment down below her name. So, Cash Doll is like, yo, Lamar, pick up my daughter on time because you know I'm going to be late picking her up. But Mish get there, he right on time. As soon as the kids run out, he right there. He know. 
So he grabbed her and she's all running to him excited or whatever. As you know, he, he used to be involved with Cash Doll. So um, before Lamar got home. So um, he picks her up. So they're going to get ice cream. They're going to get something to eat. Da, 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 da. And really it's all just a um, scheme so that Lamar can find out that the girl's missing. And uh, they want their stash back. Or they're not getting their daughter back. So that was crazy. Lamar went crazy. Who y'all think is worse, Lamar or Kane? Now, I feel like it's too early to judge that because we only are, what, in the fourth or fifth episode and we've seen Kanan go for a couple of seasons on Power. So, I feel like we need to let this show play out a little more to really compare those two. So, um, I think, I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not even going to say who I think is worse right now. I think it's too early. So, Lamar is going crazy. He's going crazy on his crew. And um, he wants them all to find his daughter or whatever. He almost choked out one of his men. And um, that guy ended up going to Meech to buy a product off of Meech at the end of the episode, which I wasn't mad at him for. Um, if somebody tried to choke me out, I would not be on your team no more. <laughs> not today. Nope, nope, nope. So, um, his main dude, I gotta get better at the names. His main dude who ended up finding, um, well actually, he ended up getting snatched by a T and they, and their boys. And they uh, took him hostage in some place and was beating him up. Meech ended up coming up in there saying, dang, I got to do everything by myself. I got to do everything. And got him to um, snitch on where the stash was being hidden. Because he's like, yo, I know you're more afraid of Lamar. So you want to come out as the hero and go to Lamar with his daughter? Or, you know, like, like which one which one you want? Or are you going to go back without the daughter? And, you know, like, like which scenario do you want? So he chose to say where the stash was. Came home with the daughter. To Lamar and, and you know they got their stash back but I was so scared for Kato when Lamar was like when first of all he called her at her house while uh, Misha and T was there and she looked so suspect that long behind phone cord going to her room to finish that phone call and if Misha and T don't catch on to her I'm like oh my god that looks so it looks so awkward like who are you talking to that you can't talk to in front of me so um then Lamar's like oh who over there you know she's like nobody da, da, da. and then he ends up going to her house while he was supposed to have a daughter and somehow Meech just goes and picks her up out of nowhere come on like I was scared for her and then she had the cartoons playing he's like who watching cartoons and she's like i do i love uh what she say i love bugs bunny and so i was just like <laughs> i was sorry laughing like really girl really is you you about to get it you about to you in some tough stuff right now girl like that was too close for comfort for me that was too close for comfort i'm like oh my gosh girl you serious so yeah, that that was crazy. I, who was surprised that Kato had Meech's back in that situation? Like she played the good middleman, but really, like if she wanted to, she could have told Lamar, like, "Hey, I got the daughter. She here." But then that would have really ended up bad. Like it would have ended up bad for her, I guess. Like if she was just way too in the middle at that time, she was just way too in the middle. But she does. I think she has their back, but I don't know. I don't even know. I really want to know how she's even involved with Lamar like that. I really do because she clearly, I don't think she really wants to be an ally to him at all. So now we're at the part where T basically tells Meech like, yo, the new connect, the new connect, um, she don't want to deal with you. <laughs> she only want to deal with me. She think you too flashy. And then we just like, the fuck, I'm flashy. Like, what you mean? And then he sits down and he got the ring. <laughs> I'm like, I was sighing laughing. I'm like, what? Why doesn't he understand that he's flashy? Look at what he has on. Like, <laughs> I thought that was so funny. And, um, what did y'all think about the scene with Meech and Pat? I was like, dang, Pat, Pat was ready to freaking beat him to the ground. Cause he's like, actually, no, I don't need a re-up. You know, I don't need you no more. And it's just like, dang, you know, like people who really put you on really feel like they own you. Like, and it's so sad. Like, it's just like, dang, some people want to grow. They want to do other things or they, they want to, you know, go above you. And he's like, you know, you taught me one thing, never get high on your own supply. <laughs> Pat went crazy. 
<laughs> that went crazy. That dude, I, I need to know his name because I've seen him in so many movies. Who's playing Pat? He playing that role so darn good. Like, oh my gosh. And then when Pat tried to get the cop, um, tried to pay off that same cop or whatever, and that cop wasn't here for it. Now, why is why is that detective trying to be all goody two shoes now, trying to give people they um they money back? You know, but he was stupid for meeting up with Meech in broad daylight at a gas station to be on some, oh, um, this thing between me and you was over and hands him back the money. And I knew, I had a feeling his partner was going to follow him. Because I was like, what if his partner just follows him? You know, because he don't be acting that mad when um, certain witnesses go missing or like while he's at work, he don't be acting like he's that into figuring out these murders or trying to like figure out if some of these drug dealers are behind these murders in certain cases. He just acts so nonchalant like he don't care at all. Like, and I was like, dang, like the witness house that they went to and the one dude was like, oh, he packed his bags, he, he's gone. Like he could just act like he's disappointed or upset to, to make his partner think that, you know, He's really a good guy. Like, you got to play it a little better, bro. Like, you just out here like, oh, no, well, I don't care. You know, like, you, he just so worried about covering himself that he don't realize he's telling on himself at the same time. I'm just like, oh, my God. So when his partner followed him and saw him meet up with Meech and he was doing some type of exchange. Mm. This, this is about to get really, really freaking good. But what took me out, what took me out was, you know, me uh, coming home and T is home and Annie in the room. And um, basically, you know, the mom walks in as they're talking about, you know, T is like, don't you think this is getting too much? You know, we kidnapping people's daughter and da, 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 and over this drug stuff and whatever. And the mom heard that whole conversation and dropped her glass and was like, wow, T really lied to me. And he's really out here doing all this stuff with his brother selling drugs and the drugs are, are on the bed open. I was wondering, like okay y'all in your house now like you know t got got whatever he needed from the new plug but why is it out in the open just on the bed like that like why it ain't in a box why it ain't like covered up like why is it just out in the open and y'all bedroom door is just wide open like what if y'all really trying to hide this from your parents you know or try to lie like why is it just out in the open <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yep. So then they all just looking like, oh shoot, mom found out. Like she heard us. Like that was crazy. So what do y'all think is gonna happen to T? You think T's gonna get kicked out? Like how Mish got kicked out? What do y'all think the father's gonna say? Cause you know the dad is not at the house right now. He's still trying to act like he can make these calls about T's um, case with the eye and the the, uh, the mom is like. You don't even live here no more, so you can't make no decisions. Blah, blah, blah. So what do y'all think is going to happen next week? This show is getting so freaking good. Like I said, if you haven't uh, watched it yet, you can still catch up and definitely watch this show. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.